Johnson, and thanks so much for being here. Thank you, Lenny, for inviting me. Now we've got certified EFT practitioners in Greece. What's so special about EFT? Why do you feel so passionately about, you know, organizing the certification training so people could be certified in EFT here in Greece? I have been practicing EFT for almost 10 years now, and I find it to be one of the most effective techniques to help me manage my emotions. So I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease during my first semester of law school, and I knew that it had a lot to do with stress because it was a year after September 11th and I had witnessed that with my own eyes from my bedroom window. My parents got divorced later that year. I broke up with a boyfriend. I started law school and then my grandfather died during my finals during the first semester. And a couple months later I and I couldn't move. And it took the doctors like eight months to diagnose me correctly. They recognized immediately that it was stress related. So they put me automatically on a ton of anti-anxiety meds and those medications have a real effect on your body. I mean, two years later, I was in my last year of law school and I was having like every single day. I mean, debilitating panic attacks where I couldn't walk out of my apartment. I felt like I was going to have a heart attack or the room would start spinning. So it really just took over my life and I had to take a pause on law school. I ended up going back and finishing, but my whole career path got derailed from that health experience because I was always so cognizant that it was psychosomatic to a certain degree. I started healing modalities that would help me get to the root cause of my disease, just treat symptoms pharmaceutically. So I found EFT about 10 years ago, and it's just the most amazing technique because it's so efficient and it's so empowering. I feel like I have control over myself in those situations where everything is falling out of control. We live in such a stressful time and we need more tools like this to help us live our best lives. If you're a teacher who's thinking, how can I bring this tool, the stress management tool into my classroom? What tapping meditation could you do that teachers could use as an icebreaker to just, you know, put it up on the screen and um, for kids to follow along with so that they can help break the ice and help them introduce tapping into their classroom. I would just very simply kind of address the elephant in the room that I'm about to ask them to do something that's outside of their comfort zone and is going to make them feel weird. Instead of sitting there showing them what I'm going to do, I want to immediately engage them so they start to feel the benefits of it. Because asking teenagers to talk about their feelings in front of other teenagers is something that's going to be met with a lot of resistance. Let's pretend that you're my student. Eleni, yeah. I'm, the, I'm the teacher. I'm bringing it into your classroom. So I'm just going to invite you now to give something new a little bit of a try. So, you know, school can be really stressful and we don't really learn in school, not just in school. I don't remember ever learning growing up how to handle my stress, but I learned this when I was older and I'd like to share it with you. Would you like to give it a try? Yeah. And I'd also like to invite if, and, you know, a teacher is showing this to their class to also invite students to follow along and tap with us. Yes, absolutely. So we start tapping by tapping on the side of our hands, either side, doesn't matter. Sometimes I even like to do it like this. So I'm getting both sides, do what feels comfortable for you. So, and we start with a setup statement where we are acknowledging whatever the quote unquote negative emotion is that we're feeling. So even though I feel really weird about trying tapping right now, even though I feel really weird about trying tapping right now, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try and see where it goes and see where it goes. Even though I really don't feel like trying this right now, even though I really don't feel like trying this right now, I don't know why my teacher is making me tap on my hand. I don't know why my teacher is making me tap on my hand, but I'm willing to be a little brave, but I'm willing to be a little brave. And give this a try right now. And give this a try right now. Even though. Even though. I feel really weird about trying tapping. I feel really weird about trying tapping. I'm going to give it a try and see where it goes. I'm going to give it a try and see where it goes. Great. Now we're going to start tapping through the points. I'll lead you through them. And we just follow along with me. We're going to stick with this emotion starting at the top of our head, sticking with the emotion of this feeling really weird. I feel weird doing this right now. I feel weird doing this right now. I am tapping on my head and my face like a monkey. I am tapping on my head and my face like a monkey. I have no idea why my teacher is asking me to do this. I have no idea why my teacher is asking me to do this. How is hitting myself on the face supposed to help me with my stress? How is hitting myself on the face supposed to help me with my stress? The idea 
being stressed out and then trying to do something like this in front of all my friends, I think that makes me feel more stressed out. I think that makes me feel more stressed out. I don't want to do something weird in front of my friends. I don't want to do something weird in front of my friends. But I also don't like feeling stressed out. Now you're tapping on the underneath your, on the side of the ribs, underneath your armpits. But I also don't want to feel stressed out. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself when I'm stressed. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with myself when I'm stressed. School is hard sometimes. School is hard sometimes. I don't know how tapping on myself is going to make me feel better. I don't know how tapping on myself is going to make me feel better. But feeling stressed, it's not making me feel good either. But feeling stressed is not making me feel good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe this might help. Maybe this might help. My teacher seems to think that it works. My teacher seems to think that it works. For the most part, she does try to help me. For the most part, she does try to help me. I feel really weird doing this. But I feel really weird doing this. I mean, I'm stressed, but, but I also feel weird and uncomfortable. I mean, I'm stressed, but I also feel weird and uncomfortable. Although maybe that's not really about the tapping. Although maybe that's not really about the tapping. Maybe it's just that stress being a teenager is weird and uncomfortable. Maybe it's just that stress and being a teenager is weird and uncomfortable. I'm not alone here doing this. My other friends are doing it. I'm not alone here doing this. My other friends are doing it. Maybe I'm not the only one that's feeling stressed. Maybe I'm not the only one feeling stressed. Actually, the tapping is kind of helping me realize that. Actually, the tapping is kind of helping me realize that. I feel a little bit calmer maybe just saying it that I don't know what to do with my stress. And I feel a little bit calmer just saying it that I don't know what to do with my stress. So let's just take a deep breath. So what did I accomplish in doing that protocol? Obviously, it would be easier if I had real kids in front of me because I'm always reading the room and I'm always noticing, you know, the facial expression. So it's a lot easier to kind of rift on what they might be feeling. But I've done this before in a classroom setting. And generally what I'm noticing is that they're really reluctant to give something that looks weird a try. So that's why I want to focus on the idea that I'm about to try something that doesn't make me feel comfortable, but also holding stress inside is not going to make anybody feel comfortable either. So the awkwardness of this technique is completely outweighed by the benefits of actually having some kind of release and group work, especially is so powerful. The connection with other people that are going through similar things and, and being able to have space to open up and share that with one another. I mean, the healing benefits of that are just astounding. So this is a very easy way to just kind of break the ice and get them to do the tapping. So everybody's doing it. You're acknowledging that, you know, it's weird. Yes. You might feel uncomfortable, but everybody's doing it, which is kind of important when you're talking to teenagers. And then they might feel more open, and I find that they usually do, to bring to the group something that they can really work on for themselves. I love how you brought in that, you know, well, actually, I'm not alone in feeling this stress because up until now, stress management has often been seen as a individual student's problem where the student will then be advised to go to the toilet and do some tapping or meditate before a test or what have you. So it's almost kind of banished into the, you know, corners of a school where it's almost something that is embarrassing to do in public. And so for teachers to bring the gift of group tapping to their class removes any of those messages that have been sent up until now that doing stress management techniques like this, which are scientific and evidence-based, and we know they work on a psychological level and on a biological level, bringing them into a classroom in a way that normalizes it and also that helps groups realize, well, actually, I'm not alone. Because that's one of the things that happened in international school where we were teaching them how to do EFT recently. You know, one of the young lads in there said, I realized actually I'm not alone in going through what I'm going through. And at a time when we are so isolated and disconnected, it's more important than ever that we can create these opportunities for our students to realize that we are all going through, you know, this stressful time historically together.
and we're not alone. So thank you very much for leading us through that wonderful tapping meditation. You're welcome. Thank you so much for the opportunity to share it and for your passion and determination in helping others and empowering our youth because we need them to really step into their authenticity. And if someone would like to learn more about you and the work you do in your services, where where could they find you? Website, um, www.allisonsimpson, A-L-L-I-S-O-N, S-I-M-P-S-O-N.com. And I recently joined Clubhouse, so at Allison Simpson there. Yeah, so look me up and send me an email. I'd love to help support you however I can. And I'll leave links below as well so people can reach out. Thanks so much, Allison. Thank you, Eleni.